I'm Graham Mix of DXT, uh, hip hop DJ, producer, songwriter, composer, musician, engineer, and all the music stuff. One of my business associates, uh, Bob Musso, uh, was using one in the studio that I was working in, and uh, I was really impressed. So I went and got one, and after a few sessions, I realized that uh, the, the application, my applications for it, went beyond just the uh, using it as a clock source for my uh, my I/O interfaces. Not only did I use it as a clock source, but it became my vocal uh, I.O. So I do all my lead vocals through it and I do it in stereo, not in mono. So I print all my vocals, uh, uh, two tracks, uh, and all, all of my, uh, my drums. I always record snare. If I'm sampling, I sample through the burl. Uh, it is definitely the most transparent and great sounding I.O. I have ever used and it is the master clock of my door system one of the other things i do is all of my soft synths i never just play them directly into pro tools and keep them you know just mix them based on what they how they exist in the in the door system i generally come out of pro tools i go back through the burl through the mic pre I mean, through the mic pre, through the burl, back into uh, Pro Tools, and uh, it is actually day and night uh, the the sonic quality and the enhancement that uh, burl brings uh, to the uh, the soft sense. I mean, it really brings them to life. It really gives it the, the warmth that's missing uh, from just doing it internally, just recording internally with the uh, soft sense. When I first got into the recording industry, we, we, everything was analog tape. And so, you know, this whole talk of the digital recording, what, you know, I, I watched the whole process of it, the whole beginning of uh, sound tools and the uh, two-track editing digitally. And so I watched the entire process become what is now solely a digital world as far as the music and recording in this industry is concerned. And one of the things that happened was we could tell the difference between the, the, the analog sound and the digital sound at that time, you know. And a, a lot of us would prefer the analog sound because of the, the warmthness of it and just just the, the, the bottom, the warmthness of the of the bottom and all of the transients that you would really that would really come through in the, uh, in the analog world. So, but now, you know, through like through the B2, that experience is now back through the digital world. And, and Burl is one of the companies that really uh, bring that home and they deliver that, uh, that quality and that warmth that we all love and missed for a while. Uh, it, leaving the uh, analog domain and going into the digital world. And so now we're, we're at that point where, you know, Burl definitely delivers that and gives you that uh, analog feel, that warmth, uh, you know, in, in, in your recording sessions.